Hello everyone, this is Dr. Struggle Boy showing you guys another video. Before I get started, this video will contain spoilers. This is from the next week's episode 116. This one is the Ultra Instinct. Looks like I was wrong in one of my videos. I stand corrected. Ultra Instinct returns, but something very unusual about Ultra Instinct that we yet do not know what what happens when Goku does the um, the technique and what do they mean unusual so let's go to episode 116 the title is gonna be called the comeback omen ultra instincts great explosion as you can see in one episode 115 which is not aired yet Goku is fighting with Kefla or Kefla however you guys want to pronounce it Goku has no choice but to clone Super Saiyan Blue, he fights Super Saiyan Blue, then he goes King Kai Fist, blah blah blah, they're just fighting, just getting head on, but for some reason, through his extreme battle with Kefla, or Kefla, Goku once again, utilized, was able to tap in, into the Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct, that not even the gods of destruction can obtain guys I don't know how Goku's gonna do it but apparently Kefla pushes Goku to his limit because of how strong she is and Goku had no choice but I don't know how he will tap into it that's a mysterious question that we yet do not know so it looks like Kefla is going to give Goku a run for his money, even with his King Kai fist. That's, that's crazy. That is crazy. But hey, at least we get to see a little bit more of what this Ultra Instinct is. I didn't think they were going to show it at all. I really didn't think so. In the next two other episodes, 117 and 118, they'll still keep talking about Ultra Instinct. They'll keep demonstrating it. So we're going to see Ultra Instinct for a while. Which is great. But. What happens with Jiren? That's the question we do not know. Because we all know that. Jiren pushed Goku to his very limit. Making you know. Making it hard for Goku to land a hit on Jiren. And it looks like when Jiren is meditating. It can kind of help him visualize like attacks before it even hits meaning you know how when Goku was ultra instinct and you know how he did, he wasn't technically moving but it's because he was moving so fast that it's like it's like he just staying still just like Goku he could see attacks so Jiren's a very special character I wish we could see more about him but all, all he's doing is just meditating but Obviously, Goku got into the spirit bomb, and he almost got killed, somehow triggered it, and he did the first Ultra Instinct, as you guys can see. Now, Kefla, she's going to be another witness, the first witness, besides Jiren, to actually see Goku's Ultra Instinct. I don't know what's going to happen when she sees it. We don't know how it's gonna be how it's gonna be encountered. Even though the fusion is powerful, but I don't think the character should be strong enough to require Goku to do Ultra Instinct. No one knows how strong Kefla is. No one knows. We didn't get to see her fight. All we did is see her boost her speed. Her speed that Goku couldn't catch on. Because she was just so fast. Her energy is just massive. So when we see this week's episode. We're going to see a little bit what Kefla is capable of. Then we can discuss it. And then we can see what Kefla is really about. What fusion it is. It could be powerful than Vegito. It could be. But I'm not saying that yet. Because I haven't seen it. But. Remember. When Goku feels cornered, he is a very smart, visualized, strategic 
a, a character. He just doesn't let that happen. He loves it when he's cornered because it pushes him to his limits that he does not yet know. We don't know how what is the limit of being a sand. We don't know what limit. What is like how further can they go? How far can they go? And that's we don't know too much about sands. All we know that they did the the first three Super Saiyan transformation, and then he was able to do Super Saiyan God, and now he did Super Saiyan Blue. Then Goku, you know, the Cow can, which is just a technique, and then he does Ultra Instinct. Man, how powerful can these Saiyans even become? It's just crazy. So, I don't know what you guys think. I'm actually excited to see the Ultra Instinct. This is going to be one crazy battle. And uh, that's when Jiren's gonna wake up. He is gonna wake up from that meditation and he's gonna fight Goku with his Ultra Instinct again, round two. But remember, we he ascends. I think he kind of evolved a little bit more of the Ultra Instinct. I guess he's a little bit more powerful than when he first did the Ultra Instinct. That's That's the thing about the unusual part. Something doesn't like he looks a little different. He doesn't look the same when he did the first Ultra Instinct. There's something more to it. We just don't know yet. And that's the exciting part. And I believe there's two ways, two theories. Not conspiracies, but two theories. Goku's gonna do the Ultra Instinct. It's it's already said and done for next week's episode. And I know and I believe that Either he is going to knock Kefla out of the ring, out of the stage, you know, separating K Khalifa and Kale, and then they're both eliminated from the Tournament of Power, leaving two warriors left for Universe 6 before Erasure, or, or, they use too much power, or somehow, I mean, okay, there's three theories. Either the, the Kefla used too much power and the time limit wore off, or Goku miraculously. Oh, how you say? I'm trying to um, defuse them. So maybe Goku is probably going to separate them because he's just going to be too powerful that I guess the fusion couldn't hold on. Either way, episode 115 is going to be one awesome episode. Be sure to watch it if you guys are caught up with it. If you guys are new, well, I believe you should start from the beginning, episode 1. Don't worry, there's English dub, but they're nowhere near where we are. They're like in episode 39, 40, I don't know. So, but Jiren, this is going to be one crazy battle. And I didn't think they were going to do the, the Ultra Instinct back. I honestly did not see that coming. I don't know. I mean, I was actually excited to see it because when I first saw it and the fight between Goku and Jiren was one awesome fight that I have never seen in my life. Better than the God of Destruction, better than the Goku Black Arc, better than the Boo Saga. Because, man, that Ultra Instinct don't play. When they said Goku has a new, uh, a new look... I was like, huh, what, I wonder what kind of look is it? Because, you know, Super Saiyan Blue wasn't too much. And Super Saiyan God wasn't too much. It looks just like Kao Ken. But, yeah, he looks skinnier and his clothes is a little bit brighter. So, it's like his whole, his hair is red. But that's just like the Kao Ken. So, I wasn't too impressed with it. But when they mentioned, when they showed the Ultra Instinct, it's not, even though it's too basic, but seeing the aura... And seeing how he fights in that slow motion, that is awesome. And I cannot wait to see it again. And I cannot I cannot wait to see how Goku was able to pull it off again. And I think it's because of Kefla. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, like, and share for more updates, spoilers, news, whatever you guys want to call it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay safe. Make it a good day. Can't wait to see episode 115, 116, 117, 118. That's all I know so far. I could told you I was going to give you updates, and I did. Ask and you shall.